Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoincha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. So this could be somebody that you've had a relationship with. This could be a situationship. This could even be somebody that you have exchanged glances with and you know there's something there, but no one's saying anything. Also, the way I do my readings is I only tune into my higher intuitive self because I do have the ability of doing that. And I don't actually ask any spirit guides for any help because I don't need it. Only in the end, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel to give you some advice um, regarding this entire situation, whatever comes out in the reading today. Somebody really pissed somebody off. God, is that not always the case? Question in my mind, why can't the world just be a happier place? Be a happier, yeah, why can't the, I don't know what I just said, but yeah, why can't the world be a happier place? Okay. There's some sadness here. There's betrayal, for God's sake. Somebody betrayed somebody. It's very awkward now. And it's not something somebody was expecting. Somebody behaved in a way that was very much um, kind of shocking. Um, abrupt. I'm getting stubborn. I'm getting the word. Here we also have, first card's the strongest. We have hearth and home, followed by love. Then we have nourishment, embracing the shadow, cycles, betrayal, centering, pleasure, and then we have responsibility under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. All right. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. For some of you, this might feel vice versa or reversed. Um, you can definitely do that because the cards here are quite strong, especially the love card and the betrayal card. So some of you may actually feel that uh, the roles are reversed here. My dear Sagittarius, as time has gone by now, I've really noticed and felt and missed this connection. I realize now that what happened, things could have changed, they could have been different. But they are not. They were not. They have not been. I feel that in this connection, I have this sense of hearth and home. Wherever you are, that is where home is for me. I do believe and I see that in this connection, you have always been like family to me. I could always confide in you and talk to you, not fear that I'm going to be judged. When I'm lost, you are that light that guides me home. And when I'm cold, it's like you're that warm, cozy blanket. There's so much about you that is just soft and gentle and nurturing. And I really appreciate that. You have always been so loving and accommodating. That is your nature. And yes, Sometimes I have taken advantage of that. Right now, I'm in this, this mindset and this mode of thinking. I realized I'm in love with you. 
I do love you, very much so. This love is true, it's pure, it's clean. It is unconditional, the type of love that I have for you. And I don't really know where it comes from, but I just love you because of the way that you are. You're lovely. And you're kind and you're sweet. What's, what's not to love? I also feel that there's a sense of nourishment. In you, I have found somebody who is just the perfect partner. You have this way of being spiritually, emotionally, and physically very fulfilling on many levels. I also feel that in this connection, there's this awkwardness now. Certain things have happened between us. I have been through and you've been through and I've said things and you've listened. You've seen that side of me that was very impulsive, compulsive and aggressive. I wish you never really had seen that side, but that is a part of who I am. It's not good. But this is a part of me. It's a part of me that I just can't change. I do feel that in this connection, there is this obsession, this thought of how awkward and how uncomfortable this environment is and how it's difficult for me to approach you or even for you to approach me. It goes around and around in a circle. It's a cycle that just doesn't finish. And I'm obsessing over the fact that I have betrayed you. I can't stop thinking about what I did to you. I know I shouldn't have done it. Why did I do something so evil to somebody so sweet and kind? You didn't deserve that, did you? No. Were you vulnerable? Yes. Did I take advantage of you? Yes. And that's why, because you were that naive and innocent. But now I see beyond that. You trusted me, and now there's a lack of tr faith, there's a lack of trust. You thought you could predict my moves, and it turns out that you never really knew me at all. I abandoned you, and I behaved in a way that you just couldn't believe. It's beyond belief. There's a part of me that feels this spiritual connection that I realize now you have this way of making me feel complete, making me feel whole again. I do like this feeling. You have a way of centering me and making me feel as though you and I were like the yin and the yang. If I'm the moon, you are the sun. We come and go and dance in perfect harmony. And I can always rely on you. I just know that you're always going to be there. But what's the use? Because I broke your heart. In this connection, yes, I have felt a lot of pleasure. Physical as well as emotional. And there has been lust in this connection, but there is also love. Whatever I've done, Sagittarius, I want to take responsibility for my actions, for the things that I've said and done, for the things that I never said, that I should have and never did, that I should have done. I want to take responsibility and be able to take on some responsibility and burdens on my shoulders. I want to do this. Hopefully, one day, we will be able to work together on this. But in the meantime, I can't get over the fact that I have hurt you in this way. Because of that, it's hard to approach you because the situation between us now is extremely awkward. All right. 
Sagittarius. So you do have three major cards here. Responsibility, embracing the shadow, and you have betrayal. So definitely this is... It's very sad because somebody did trust somebody and somebody hurt somebody and betrayed them. They were irresponsible. And this individual is now trying to change their ways because they do see it. Now, do I see any type of sadness card or remorse or regret? I don't. But I see in these cards that this person instinctively knows that what they did was wrong. People know what they've done is wrong. Most of the time, people know. Um, however, for example, if you're in a friends with benefits connection or if you're in a casual relationship and you find the person with somebody else, um, not even casual, but if you're in a friends with benefits connection, you need to be careful to not just assume that that person's committed to you because it's a friends with benefits. That friend has other friends too. So I've had a lot of clients that have gotten angry at those type of relationships. Um, but that's what, I'm sorry, but that's what you get. It's not a girlfriend. It's not a boyfriend. It's different. It's a different type of arrangement. So one person is on this path. The other person's on that path. Completely different mindset. You have to make sure that if you really want to have a boyfriend or girlfriend, you have to be on the same page, both of you. And that is when you talk about commitment, about being exclusive. There's a lot of people that write to me and one of the biggest complaints that I've seen, and probably I'm going to make a video on it because it's starting to get to the point that I, I need to make a video on this, on Asnoichi Audio, my other channel. Um, the fact that there's a distinction. Casual versus friends with benefits versus a commitment, exclusive, dating. There's such a difference between all of them. And these days people tend to find the casual and the friends with benefits because it's just easy because you don't have to commit um, but there's various reasons why people do that you have two cards here that look so similar same characters actually um, so we have here the two of arrows and the five of arrows I don't think I've ever had I don't think I ever had these guys over here especially in a combination I don't think so this looks different to me this little these two little cards here look very different. I don't think I've come across them in this particular spread like this. Two of arrows. So this is something that may have happened that caused the problem in the first place in this connection. The reason why certain things um, didn't work out, the reason why certain things started to just go downhill in this connection. So let's have a look. Two of arrows. This talks about, in the past, in the past, in this connection, in the beginning, there could have been a sense of understanding in a difficult situation, wanting to understand a difficult situation, and trying to have balance. However, eventually, issues needed to be confronted, so there was a lack of understanding for a difficult situation that had occurred, and eventually what happened was that balance was not attained, and something that needed to be confronted or talked about was not, it was ignored completely. Here we also have emotional control. What happened eventually is discomfort with a decision. This person was feeling very uncomfortable making a decision. They were not able to make a decision that was required. There was also over-reliance on the intellect and leaving emotions unconsidered. This means that this person was being a little too practical, a little too logical, and they were not thinking with their heart. They were thinking very much just like with their head, just very logical, very practical, very realistic. Um, and that's not good because this person was feeling uncomfortable with a decision. So what type of decisions? They were, they were feeling uncomfortable with a decision that was based on their feelings. And so what they did was they made a decision based on their intellect without even consulting or thinking about their emotions. Here we also have the Five of Arrows. This talks about struggle, distrust, as well as arguments. We have here how this person, there was a sense of discomfort and struggle with a particular situation. 
they were trying to be very cautious and there was a sense of self-protection. There was a lack of trust that was leading to conflict. We also had here discomfort or struggle with a situation. Disingenuous surrender. Defeat because of indecisiveness. So disingenuous surrender basically means like two people may be together and one person may say something and the other person doesn't agree but they pretend like they're agreeing disingenuous surrender so you know somebody comes out onto the driveway and they say oh look honey the sky is green and instead of just arguing saying no it's not green it's blue the person just agrees and they just say yep yeah, it's green all right let's go now why because they just want to agree so that they don't have to talk or argue about anything else that is a really toxic relationship, guys, when that starts, because communication is very necessary. If the person sees it as green, you should ask them why. What's the reason? Where is it coming from? That's how you can get to the nitty-gritty. Um, here with the Five of Arrows, this does talk about disingenuous surrender. So just giving in, um, but not really meaning it. Here we have defeat because of indecisiveness paranoia and dishonesty holy smoke so this person really was they were paranoid they were actually the word is here they're literally paranoid they were also paranoid about somebody being dishonest which is you they thought you might be dishonest and in addition to that we have with the five of arrows we have here a sense of indecisiveness So they're very, they're very, they're too practical. They're, and that's the whole issue here. They were too practical. They were thinking with only their logic. They were not thinking with their heart or their emotions. And the problem is this also came into the other card here. It talks about how this person is just simply paranoid. They may have heard stories, terrible stories that oh, this love relationship didn't turn out this way or this didn't turn out that way. And so whatever it is, it seems to be that this person in the past was ignoring a lot of the good things that they could have just taken advantage of, actually building a relationship, but they just weren't interested because they were not thinking on the emotional level. All right, I have here, okay. This is the Beginner's Tarot. So we have the Four of Swords. So this is any type of action, any intention that this person may have towards you. Very nice. It's wonderful to see the Eight of Pentacles here. Somebody's going to work on this. Very nice. Oh my God, look at that. Ten of Cups. They're really going to work on this, aren't they? Oh, but then we have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> The overall arching theme right now is the Queen of Swords. This person sees you as a grumpy person right now. They know that they've pissed you off. They know that they've made you angry and unhappy. And so they're afraid of approaching you. First card's the strongest, however. We have here Four of Swords. This person right now feels and they know that there is a sense of heartache and loss and upsetness. And what they're trying to do is they just literally want to retreat and heal. And think about this just on their own self-isolate they don't want to deal with anybody they do feel heartache and grief and they want to kind of figure out what they can do to not make themselves feel this way the result of that is here the justice card this person will realize that all they have to do is just try to make things right because everything that they were doing was quite wrong and it was out of balance it was more of what they wanted and less of what you wanted and that's why they want to bring a better balance in this connection um, simply because of that for that reason um, they know that there are certain things that they did that was very selfish and it was they never took emotions into consideration right so this is a good card to have it's a really good card this person now after there's no action with the four of swords um, towards you there's action for themselves here However, the justice card at action towards you. And they want to make things right. That's an intention that they have. 
and here on their own with the eight of pentacles which i sometimes call the love workshop and love readings um this person's really gonna think long and hard how can i be with my sag how can i fix the situation that i screwed up so badly how can i start thinking with my heart oh my god i'm gonna lose my mind that's what this person's they're worried they're worried that if they do they're just all in and are they oh yeah ten of cups they are totally in they are in denial that they love you um they're trying to somehow figure out a way coming back into your life adoring you loving you for who you just are and not wasting any more time ten of cups absolutely beautiful this person wants you they want you long term they want you this could be as a married couple this could be just a partner two people living together forever and ever having kids or just having fur babies or pets um, but growth and prosperity and hope and happiness is what is within this card there's a home it's a sunny day building beautiful memories this is i mean this person wants this bad and they are working towards it they're working towards it right now are they able to approach you with the Queen of Swords? They find that they have upset you so much that now you have turned into, and they have turned you into, not that you just did this on your own. They have turned you into, because of their actions, this cold-hearted person who just is willing to just cut them up into pieces and snap at them and fight with them and argue with them because now this person's heart is very cold and very distant and they don't talk much. They're intimidated now. They don't really know how to approach you. Once upon a time they did, but now they see you as somebody who's not really approachable because they've hurt you. Um, they used to be very cold and distant and now you are. This is how it seems to them. On the inside, guys, you might not be, um, but this is what it seems like to them from a distance. So do I see any action here? I see a lot of intention and I do see two action cards here with the Justice and the Eight of Pentacles. So I do see them taking action which eventually will result in them showing you or expressing to you what they want with the Ten of Cups. Um, so do I see them taking action? I do. Um, is there still a lot of healing to do? Yes. Um, the attitudes have to change here with the Four of Swords as well as the Queen of Swords. There's still a little bit of time that's needed for change and for healing um, just on this person's own level but then you also have the justice card great intention and an actual action card um, the eight of pentacles so yes there's going to be some changes here it's going to take some time because this person is trying to take care of themselves as well first they need to figure out um, how they can kind of deal with their own demons first and deal with that part of them that ignores love and this time they're going to be pushing away the logical side and thinking more of what is love and how do I do this? It's a, it's a beautiful reading. Um, it's like they never really experienced it this way before, but they see life differently with you. I mean, you got the Ten of Cups, right? That's a beautiful, beautiful card. It's the best card to have. It's a wonderful card. All right. I'm just going to do a quick prayer. All right. Ooh, first card's the strongest. We have here, let go. Now, because this person has also been quite distant from you in the past, the angels here, the biggest strategy I've always seen here is the let go card. It's like the no contact rule. Okay, let go, no need to worry. We have here within the next few weeks. Opportunity. Then we have here wait. Followed by big happy changes. And 
we will look for a sign, followed by ask for help from others. Okay. So, first card's the strongest, let go. So, what does that mean? You know how this person was being extremely logical about the whole thing and they weren't even, like, thinking about the emotional part? Well, they want you to give this person a taste of their own medicine. Yep. Once they start to have emotions for you and you start taking a step back, they're going to go nuts and they're going to wonder, oh my God, I want my Sag back right now. Then you got the Eight of Pentacles, they're going to start working on it because they want the Ten of Cups. You will be able to make them realize this only if you take a step back and communicate with them less. Um, let go of the situation. Try to let go of the person. This doesn't mean that you have to stop loving the person. It just means that start, um, start spending your time on other things and don't dwell on this person so much as you usually would. Could also be here, let go of an arm argument or belief or problem that's uh, reoccurring in the situation that keeps causing a problem in the, in the situation between the both of you. So it is letting go of certain things that you might think no longer serve you. But the biggest thing with this card I've seen is let go of this individual. Keep your distance for a while. Let them approach you. Eventually they will, but they have to have the confidence to do that. They don't have that yet. Here we also have no need to worry. Beautiful. No need to worry. Within the next few weeks or months, there will be an opportunity. Here we also have wait. There are going to be big happy changes, but remember, there's going to be a wait uh, before that. So there will be a time when there's going to be some changes. They're going to be big and you're going to be happy about it. However, there is a time period in between that where you're just going to have to wait for it. You're going to receive an opportunity within the next few weeks or months. Um, this opportunity could be from this person or somebody new also. We also have here, look for a sign. So looking for a sign here, this could be literally signs and synchronicities. It could be this person trying to reach out to you directly or indirectly through somebody. Um, it, could, it could mean several things, but looking for a sign means that you are intuitively trying to see um, how you can, you can make sense of all this. And sometimes you may hear a voice in your head, sometimes you may um, see something and you read something or you hear something, and it just makes sense naturally. When it makes sense to you naturally, that's a message from the beyond that celestial beings are given to you. That's a sign. So do pay attention to any type of signs. And even if some of you have been in an unfortunate situation with this person, some signs could also be, have a look if there's any red flags. However, I'm highly doubting right now that within this reading, there's any type of negativity. I just see that this person is trying to work on themselves. You're going to keep your distance and they're eventually going to have this opportunity with you. And there's going to be some big happy changes. We also have here under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme, ask for help from others. So this does mean that in this connection, um, it is important for you to not just keep these problems to yourself. If some of you have really suffered, they are saying it's best to talk to a friend, a family member, a therapist, a counselor, somebody, some other human being even your pet. You can sit down, talk to your pet. They do listen, you know, and they can feel your emotions. Um, yeah. One day I'll talk about pets and animals and how they all, how their minds work. Uh, how do I know that? Angel fake you. <laughs> so, they do listen to you and they can feel your emotions and feelings. So, if you don't have anybody, talk to your pet. Um, here we have it could be also somebody, for example, who's a light, like a life coach or somebody who is um, some type of a, you know, a guru or even a priest. It could be anybody, but whoever it is, you have to trust them. Know that whatever secrets or whatever you're going to do, it has to be somebody that you can trust. Oftentimes I've seen people start to actually, we get so excited. Sometimes we tell um, a lot of people 
our personal stories and then they come back to bite us in the ass, right? You got to be careful who you say it to. You can't say it to like a coworker or something like that. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, so just be careful who you trust. Some people are jealous, but it is important for you to ask others for help because this is only going to work out if you have external input. There's something about this connection where your mindset and your information is limited. But the moment you start talking to a person or two with people that you trust, they're going to give you a different perspective on the situation and different type of information. And that will help you um, make your decision and help you move on further in this connection in a positive way. And that is your reading, Sagittarius. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below if any of you have resonated with this, if any type of story fits into this whole scenario. Um, I do still have openings for love readings. Um, those are written report readings. If any of you are interested, you can definitely go to my website and place an order. But I do recommend to have a read through the description first so you'll know exactly what it is that you're going to get. All right. You all take care. Stay safe. Thank you once again for tuning in. I'll see you all again. Bye now.